pro stock bike drag racing fans, this video's for you. Get ready because we're gonna take you across the pond to famous Santa Pod Raceway in England. Check out those cool windmills back there and show you two full rounds of qualifying from the FIME Pro Stock Motorcycle category. We are gonna introduce the rest of the world to these talented European Pro Stock Motorcycle drag racers. If you're wondering what the heck Pro Stock Motorcycle racing is, simply put, full custom racing chassis and naturally aspirated motors. This class features some of the highest echelon of technology in the sport, and the reason for that is when you don't have turbo, nitrous, or nitromethane, Every single ounce of weight counts. Every single quarter horsepower counts. These motorcycles are all Suzuki based. They use old school GS cases. So it's tough to squeeze as much performance as you can. And we begin near lane. This is Martin Newberry of Great Britain on the Suzuki TL. He won this event last year. He's taken on Martin Bishop, also of Great Britain. Martin has struggled with some transmission and motor issues as of late. He's hoping to put that behind him here in opening qualifying. Oh, red light start. You can see it pushes Martin back. These motorcycles accelerate so quickly to the first 60 feet. How about a 721? Nice run off the trailer at 184 miles an hour. The record in this category. Long burnout there for Len Paget. Record in this category a 696, 193 miles an hour. Some of these motorcycles just a little behind the Suzuki's we see in the United States. Len Paget of Great Britain, near lane. He's the reigning ACU Pro Stock champ alongside the one and only Bertrand Maurice, the Frenchman, right hand lane, reigning FIM champ. Two champions looking to get on the board a 754 to a 7. 57. Tough conditions here in opening qualifying. Now what's interesting is if you follow NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle in the States, you know the Vance and Hines Harleys and also the EBR Buells are the dominant bikes right now. The V-Twins appear to be the way to go. We don't see any V-Twins over in Europe, at least not in the finals. The finish racer, left hand side, not going to be able to make a pass. Here comes your point leader. Frederick Fredlin, speaking of a man who does a little racing over in the States, collaborates with the great Gary Stouffer. He goes 739 to get in the number one spot. What happened to Yanni Koskinen from Finland? Hopefully we'll see him next session. Let's head back in the pits what and get a closer look. here? Thank you very much, sir. Support the cycle plan. That's your defending champ, Frederick. He's been a 693. Here's a good look at the very Thank tough very finish much. racer, Yanni Koskinen's bike. As you can see, it still has some damage on it. Yanni what do you got there? Let me see that sticker. Earlier this year. Got some fans. Awesome. And what's that one? What's it? What's it? Oh, I love it. Michael, we love it. What's your name? Buzzard. And where are you from? I'm from London. That is so cool that you follow along. Now, I heard you say your favorite bike was Brad Mummert's and Richard Gadsden's? Gadsden, what a machine. An aspirated bike doing six second quarters. That's off the scale, mate. Fantastic. Well, we appreciate you watching over here in England. So, How about you? You into motorcycles as well? Yeah. I sure am, yes. What do, you guys, what do you guys think of this beast we're looking at here, Ricard? Phenomenal. The awesome, sound of it is huh? phenomenal. Wait till so the fighter. Sure. When you get Ricard's and Philip, Philip, I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> When they're in the final and they're on song and you're getting two side-by-side, -side, five eights, five sevens, calm. Well, I can't tell you how gratifying and humbling it is for us to meet fans all the way over in London who follow CycleDrag.com on Facebook and subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. We love bringing you the worldwide coverage. It's a new day. Traffic's rolling in. Let's bring you a full another session. Smart fans camp. That's a good idea. That way you don't have to sit in that long line of traffic coming in. Maybe you could have a couple adult beverages at night, kick back, enjoy the show. It is a true happening here at the European Finals at Santa Pod Raceway. I was also astounded at how many people ride their motorcycles and, and unique and collectible motorcycles. In the first shot, you saw a GSX 1400, and this is one that if you follow Cycle Drag, you know is near and dear to our hearts. The Widowmaker H2 750 Kawasaki Triple, right next to a Suzuki GT350. 
30, and another old school Suzuki 660. I love the vintage boys riding in. These were just a few of the many motorcycles that rode into Santa Pod to take in the action. Gotta love those triples. We feature them here on Cycle Drag quite regularly. We'd like to own one someday. Let's get you to the next round of Pro Stock Bike Qualifying and see if any of these competitors can hit the six second zone. Look at that, look at how fast that guy's going in the car as they spray down some BHT. That was not in fast forward, I promise you. It takes some uh, courage to be the man to stand in the back. You gotta hang on tight. A new day, conditions improved, the wind died down. Look at this packed crowd, it's only Saturday. The amusement park in the background, this is a must attend, must see event if you are a motorcycle fan. Let's kick things off with Simon David of France, the Frenchman. He built this bike himself. He will get set to take on the number seven of Len Pagan. Simon David has struggled with some issues. He broke in the opening race, hoping he's put those mechanical woes behind. gotta love the sweet sound of naturally aspirated pro stock motorcycles. This sport is so incredibly expensive. As one gentleman put it to me a long time ago, if you want to know how much money it takes to go pro stock motorcycle racing, when you can light your cigars with $100 bills and not feel bad about it, then you might be able to go pro stock motorcycle racing. It's amazing the damage you can do with just one single pass. Here we are, second qualifying, looking for the sixes. Will we see a six second pass here in Santa Pod? problems 749 right lane the issues continue for simon david we'll catch up with him and here comes the man from finland these fins are tough as nails he came back from the crash so quickly yanni koskinen recovering from a high speed incident in the shutdown area at turp arena but this young rider keep an eye on him he's been a 712 already this is his first year following the full tour definitely a tough up and comer in the other lane that is the frenchman the reigning champion the reigning fim pro stock bike champ he's got a new motor that is bertrand maurice two tough competitors oh you can hear bertrand's bike breaking up there goes yanni sizu finish power top end of the racetrack oh yanni falls off to an eight second performance now ladies and gentlemen the man they call the Bish, out of Team Lucas Oil Products, Martin Bishop. He comes from Great Britain. He enters the finals, ranked number five in the point series, as he lines up alongside his fellow countryman, Martin Newberry. Both these competitors hoping to get into the sixes here on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Wide open throttle, that activates the two step rev limiters, out go the clutch. Oh, a foam block taken out right hand lane. That'll be an automatic disqualification for that pass. 745 left hand lane. You gotta love these pro stock motorcycles. Hey, we did not see our point leader. Let's go check in with them. Ah, oh, Frederick Fredland having to do a motor change due to transmission issues. So he missed this session. He's your point leader. This could be big for the championship chase. Make sure you stay with us here on Cycle Drag YouTube and CycleDrag.com Facebook. We'll check in. We'll bring you an update next round and see if Frederick Fredland can get his motorcycle back into competition. We told you Pro Stock Motorcycle was expensive. When you run these Suzuki GS motors on the ragged edge, things are bound to break. But luckily for Frederick, he did have a spare motor. And we'll see what else happens. We'll see in our next installment if any of these competitors can break into the six second zone. In the meantime, please share this video if you have any fast motorcycle fans, any NHRA Pro Stock motorcycle fans, share this video with them. And let's expose these great European racers to the rest of the world. Wouldn't it be cool to get them over to the States someday and fill up a challenge with the rest of the NHRA racers? Always great to see, and good luck to our point leader, Frederick Fredland. You see he's got the Vance and Hines jacket on, Vance and Hines horsepower. 
even all the way over in England. All the fans from Finland are ready to go. There's some of Yanni Koskinen's biggest fans. All the media, all the photographer, there I am enjoying myself at Santa Pod. We want to thank everybody for the hospitality, especially in the media suite. And we want to remind you to subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook, smash the bell for notifications. We've got more coming from jolly old England.